To continue our discussion of half cell potentials, we need a starting point. And chemists have arbitrarily decided to call a specific half reaction called the standard hydrogen electrode, the uh, basis for which we uh, align all the other half cell potentials. So we have arbitrarily called the half cell potential for the SHE as being zero volts. And it's based off of this that we have determined all the other half cell potentials for other reactions. So if you look at a list of reduction potentials for um, a series of reactions that will have corresponding voltages to them, all of those voltages are based off the idea that the SHE has uh, a half cell potential of zero volts. So we'll see how this is started off. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the SHE just so you know where all these numbers are coming from. So the standard hydrogen electrode involves a platinum electrode that is p placed in a solution, acidic solution with hydrogen gas inside of there. So it's a specific electrode that they make. And like I said, we have set this to have a half cell potential of zero volts. And we can give the half cell diagram here. We have the um, we typically set it up as the anode half reaction. So the platinum electrode is the anode. It's in contact with hydrogen gas and H plus. And then we take whatever other half reaction that we're interested in and make it the cathode half reaction. So in this case, say we want to measure the E naught for this reaction. Copper two plus plus two electrons goes to make copper solid. So what we will do is take the standard hydrogen electrode and set it up as one cell and then the other cell we will make as um, this copper solution in contact with our cathode, in this case, copper solid. And then we will take a voltmeter and measure the flow of electrons. So say I set it up, I set up my standard hydrogen electrode, I set up the other um, cell here as uh, being this reaction, and I uh, apply a, a voltmeter and I get a measure of 0 0.340 volts. So now, using the fact that the standard hydrogen electrode has a half cell potential of zero, we can now read what the half cell potential is for this reaction. So we need to remember that the overall cell potential for a given electrochemical cell is equal to the half cell um, potentials added together. And in this case, the standard hydrogen electrode is my anode, and we have decided that it's going to be equal to zero. So if I go in here and I call E naught anode zero, we can see that the e, e naught cell that we have measured is going to be equal to the E naught for the cathode, which is for the reaction that we are interested in here. And that is going to be 0 0.340 volts. So we now know what the half cell potential is for this reaction. And so what we're gonna find out is we use this originally, but now that we have the half cell potential for copper, uh, for this copper reaction, we can use that to find other half cell potentials. But just remember that all the cell potentials that we have are based off the idea that the standard hydrogen electrode is uh, set to zero um, volts.